Hello everyone. Welcome to watching Lesson 8 of SuperKit for Arduino series video tutorials, PC model. Let's see the phenomena of this experiment first. Next, let's see the components to be used in this experiment. Small DC model, L293 D chip, breadboard, same founder UO controller, jumper wells, and USB cable. Let's see the principle of this experiment. DC model. It can rotate as long as there is appropriate current flowing through its two pins. Due to limited driver capability of microcontrollers I.O. port, so we have to use driver chip. Here we use L293D as chip driver. It can control two DC models independently. L293D has two pins, VCC1 and VCC2 for power supply, since what we are using is a small size DC model. So we collect both the pins to 5 volts. In addition, we also use PWM in this experiment. We have talked about its principle in previous experiment. Here we change the rotor speed of the model by adjusting PWM value. That's all for the principle. Let's begin building the circuit. Place the L293D chip on the breadboard. Collect the pin 4 and the pin 5 of L293D to ground. Collect its pin 1 and the pin 8 to power source. Collect its pin 2 to pin turn of sense on the board. Collect its pin 7 to pin 9 of sense on the board. Collect the breadboard and sense on the board. Then collect one pin of the DC model to pin 3 of L293D. Collect the other pin of the DC model to pin 6 of L293D. Now we have finished building the circuit. Next, we start writing code. Collect one pin of the DC model to pin 9 of same on the board. Collect the other pin of the DC model to pin turn of sense on the board. Set pin 9 and the pin turn as output. Make the DC model rotate clockwise in the PWM value of 200. It's important to note that the rotation direction of the model is related to the collection of the two pins. Let the motor rotate for one second. Make the DC motor rotate counterclockwise in the same value. Wait for one second. This function is used to make the motor rotate clockwise in the PWM value of speed. This function is used to make the motor rotate counterclockwise in the PWM value of speed. Compare the code. If there are low errors, Click the same on the board and the computer to download the program. Here we can see the DC motor is rotating as our request. That's all for this lesson. Thank you for watching. See you next time.